honest. Um, so I think she's been more than reasonable, and I'd, I'd, I'd you know, like to say sorry again. Thank you. Okay. Well, what's going to happen now is that um, Shelley um, and I are going to just uh, discuss, put down, put down in writing against the here, uh, the actual outcome of it. Just give us a couple of minutes, and um, then, so we're going to leave the screen. We'll be back uh, very shortly. Okay. Right. You're right, you got a cup of tea. 
again. You get a cup of tea. Yeah, but it's hard drinking it with this mask on. <laughs> of course. You seen those masks that's like shaped like a wine glass? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's got like red wine in over people's faces, so you know, like that. I hope you're not using them, Phil. Uh, you should have done them that can be. Yeah. So. I think quite, I quite like the ones with um, like the clear, like the, the, the clear plastic so that you, or the clear, clear materials so that you can actually see people smiling. I find it really weird not to see people's face. Not to see the smiling or whatever. It's hard, really, because I don't really know this this office. So, as I said, I've got you know, it's been on for various ailments and whatever. So, um, we have just got to be really careful. Everyone's got to be careful at the minute, haven't they? And if I was out and about, I'd be wearing a mask as well. So, what are these guys doing? Do you know? What in the rest of the outcome agreements? I'm glad, I'm glad, you know, for what it's worth, I'm, I'm glad all this coronavirus, you know, wasn't on when I was in prison. It would have been a nightmare. You know, I'm amazed the prisons haven't kicked off, to be honest, you know, because they've, uh, they've not been getting any visits or anything. Mm. Um, you know, I, I, I know, you know, a couple who've, who've come out, um, and they were saying when it all kicked off, you know, the, uh, you know, the lads in there were saying, you know, if we don't get our, our visits, we're going to, you know, break this place down. So uh, I'm, I'm amazed it's all been quiet, really. But, it's bad, but you know, and as I say, it's my own fault, I'm asking for sympathy, but it's bad enough in there, you know, at, at the best of times, you, you're lucky if you get education. Um, you know, depending on which one you're in, some you get a bit of education. I mean, I was so lucky getting that victim awareness course. I mean, you know, hopefully that's, that's what, what's changed my life, really. Um, I've never been on that. I mean, you know, Candy will tell you, I've, I've been in prison more in my life than, than I've been out by a long chalk, you know. Um, I've never been on a victim awareness course. And, and you know, I, I sort of went in, you know, and if, and if I'm being honest with you, I went in just thinking, you know, it's another tick in the box, you know. Uh, but within sort of an hour when you do that that ripple effect thing, you know, and it, it, it they sort of, I, I don't, do you know what I mean by ripple effect? No, I haven't right. done it. But, well, it's like, it's like you get you draw this circle. And so who, who's the victim? So the victim's in the middle, right? Is there anybody else who, who's been affected? And then it's the victim's family in, a, in the next circle. Anybody else? My family, the next circle. And then it goes out and out. It's this big ripple effect, you know. And it's only, and, and I, as I say, we did that the first hour or so. And it was only when I was listening to that, I thought, you know, it just blew my head off. You know, I just... You just don't think about it, honestly. I know that that's a horrible thing to say. No consolation to you, but you just don't think about it. So, like I say, hopefully that's like being my saviour. And, you know, my family are really strong. They're really, really helping me. You know, they they realise what a crap dad I've been. Uh, but they're really supportive. And, uh, you know, this is me. I think this is my one chance. If I, if I fuck this up, I think... Well, I think that's it. I'll, I'll just die in prison, you know. And I, and I think I just realised that. And, you know, I, th I think the whole COVID thing, whatever it's called, I think that makes you think, you know, I've been, what a selfish git I've been. You know, there's millions of people, all, however many, dying all around the world. You know, and then here's me going out, causing even more misery. Um, you know, so I just think there's a few things that seem to be coming together that, they're helping them move forward, and I'm just just so determined, you know. And, and in a year's time, when I write that letter, you know, I hope it'll go some way to sort of, you know, harm I've caused you some way towards, you know, reducing that harm or making you feel better. Um, so, so thanks again, you know. I, I mean, you've already you've already done that. Do the next bit for yourself and your family and your kids. Yeah, got to get me going again now. Oh, yeah. I'm getting a bit too bloody old for all this. I'm getting a bit soft in my old age, you know. 